в настоящее время на Украине произошел государственный переворот. Власть захватили украинские националисты, деятельность Верховной Рады нелегитимна. Севастопольцы ее не признают. Россия! Севастополь останется русским. And the latest is that several hundred Russian troops uh, have arrived at a Ukrainian military base not far from here where there is now a confrontation. You just don't invade another country on phony pretext uh, in order to assert your interests. Pro-Russian demonstrators came here and they swept their way in, they even raised the Russian flag. But they've now been kicked out. The deputy mayor of this city has told the BBC that he thinks a referendum may be a chance to calm tensions here to give a pro-Russian population a chance to decide its own status. Crimeans voted overwhelmingly on Sunday to break away from Ukraine and join Russia in a referendum the West condemned as a leader. It's that they will bring the army and they will fight. How can it be scary? Of course it is scary. In Ukraine, pro-Russian militants have seized a second building in the eastern city of Slavyansk, the local headquarters of the state security service. Not just the police headquarters or an administration building that's occupied. Here in Slavyansk, the whole city is under control of pro-Russia forces because they've got checkpoints on all the entrances and exits. On his Facebook page, the Ukrainian interior minister promised a very tough response. He said there's a difference between protesters and terrorists. Нашу и